Welcome back to Let's Play Doom Heroes.wad, where we last left off E3M5. Now there's two ways to do this level. There's the speed run route and then the normal route. And there's several in between routes. Like having that lord can take you to the red key early and skip most of the level as well. But it's slightly luck based. Now I like exploring, so I won't uh, actually take the game-breaking routes quite yet. Not until we've seen the level. Anyways, let's hit up a secret. There will be one secret that I hope I won't have to use, as it's the speedrun route. So I'll save that for maybe a bonus clip later on. Now here's a mis misplaced blue key. And you'll see what I mean coming up. Do a little bit of exploring. And kill some amps. And probably some demons. Nothing to it. And that just takes us back the way we came. So there's the exit switch, and I'm surprised the mobs up there aren't all front and centered. Careful here, there's lots of shotgunners waiting to shoot you in the back, and probably in the front. But I was on to their tricks. But I'll actually use the BFG here because stepping on the chain gun releases two Baron Von Bads. So kill them, move on. Oh wow, nice shot on the shotgunner. See now there's the normal trigger for lowering this platform. And you get a lot of secrets as you walk up the stairs since every stair is a different secret. And another shoot the wall to open it up thing. Kind of sucks if you don't know you're supposed to shoot the wall. Anyways, we can grab the plasma gun. As refilling cells is always nice. Ah, oh, somebody shot at me from back here. Ah. Uh, well, we needed to head here anyway. This switch raises something important that we'll be needing. So let's head to the red key door. See that switch actually raised the, the ledge right there, or the bridge. Now I say the, the red key is misplaced because here's my second blue skull key. And the teleporter takes you back to here. And uh, if you step on it, it takes you to the blue switch thing. Now we could go this way for a little bit. And it just takes us back here, so... Nothing much to see, other than exploring every nook and cranny. Except for one. And I'll get to that, as I said, later on little goody hut if you still need a plasma rifle. This one doesn't have any goodies, sadly. Now be careful walking into this next room, 
as it is possible to get stuck. If you walk on this and then fall down there, you're stuck. But you have to, like, carefully do it. Otherwise, you can get free by walking to the next platform. Might as well kill you through the window. Shoot that barrel. Dang. This switch, which lowers the thing for this switch, which lowers this entire platform. Kind of confusing. I'd rather eat the imps fireball than the cack demons. I hate it when they're total light level zero. But that's the point, is to make it hard to see. Anyway, the yellow key is there. But if we flip this switch, we lower this little goody hut. Now we have the yellow key, which is not needed to finish the level. Ludicrous Gibbs. More Ludicrous Gibbs. That was a pretty bad shotgun shot. I managed to miss everything. And so we wait for the elevator. Of course, we can leave the level, but there is one more thing miss the reg suit like a boss. Let me get this secret. Which side am I on? Okay, so I'm there. I'll need to return to where I was, though, so... Maybe pick up some goodies along the way I missed. Although I picked up most of everything. This level can be really confusing. You'll notice I avoided an area at the start. And that's with good reason. Bah, I hate it when the walls raise. Lower, dang it. Do so you want to be on this side? Oh, I totally, like, looked right at it. My bad. This teleporter. Oh, I didn't get a triple kill off the barrels. That switch is very important. At least if you want to try to go for everything. Because we get to go fight a cyber. And I know I'm taking the long way. Cybers are pretty easy, actually, especially with a BFG. One more, really? There you go. And that should be almost everything. Except for this little hole. But we'll get to that in a little bit. And your reward is a soul sphere and an invulnerability. I'm guessing they wanted you to find that before fighting the cyber or something. I don't know. Uh, overall, it was a pretty okay level. Uh, they really should have changed that blue key, though. I don't know why you'd want two of them. It does make it more open-ended, which I don't mind. But, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to append... Uh, uh, the alternate way of breaking the level, which involves getting that other secret. See you in a bit. Bonus video, the alternate way of doing E3M5.
it's actually pretty easy. What you do is you fall down here, take this teleporter backwards, and you're teleported here. Now if you take this teleporter back, it ports you to this room. Haha, <laughs> love in fighting. Ah, I missed the elevator? Lame. The trigger for the elevator is the other room, by the way. And we just get most of the level. How cool is that? In under 30 seconds. Anyways, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.